Good afternoon. I'm going to preach to you from Mark chapter 13 because King Jesus Christ said the word you gave them on the 11th of September 2023 was not complete. So you have to complete it. So I'm going to complete it by adding the, the scriptures from Mark chapter 13 that there is hell and Unfortunately, some of you will go to hell, so I have been told to tell you, but not everybody will go to hell. Just some people who refuse to listen and obey the word of God. So here is Mark chapter 13. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? They shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of, of wars, and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end shall not be yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations, but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought, beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye pre premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing way where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. And let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field, not turn back again for to take up his garment, but woe to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight be not in winter, in the winter, for those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto th this time. Neither shall be. And expect that 
the Lord had shortened those days. No flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he had chosen, he had shortened the days. And then, if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or Lo, here is, is there, believe he, he, or he is there, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall shew signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things, but in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves. He know, ye know, that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. Verily, I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock, cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Amen. This is the word of God, my darlings. I just want you to know that God definitely loves you and he doesn't want you to go to hell. That's why he has told me that there is hell. That you know what? All these things, these tribulations, they will come to pass to those who are good on earth, to those who are wicked, they will come to pass. But they'll happen for just a short time. The time won't be too, too long. And um, everything will be fulfilled. And God will be coming soon. So when all these uh, terrible things happen, that's the sign that God is near and uh, he wants us to repent and turn from our wicked ways and to follow him and to know that earthquakes are nothing, but God is everything. If we turn away, we'll go to eternal life in heaven or here on earth. But if we don't turn away from our sins, if we keep on fornicating, if we keep on being adulterers, if we keep on killing, being murderers, if we keep on gossiping about evil and doing evil, then 
definitely we can't enter the kingdom of heaven and definitely we can't enter the ki- this kingdom here on earth and definitely won't enter into the new Jerusalem. We will go to hell if we do that. So we need to live straightforward lives, God-fearing lives and lives that trust in him, that um, are committed to King Jesus Christ because he loves us. He's definitely coming soon. He's definitely coming with his reward. He's definitely coming quickly. And um, his word, he's giving us his word. His prophets are giving us his word. And the false Christ will come. But he is a true living Christ. He's a Christ whom we should believe in and wait for to come at the end of the world to rule the the heavens and the earth with his father. And we know that he is the king of kings and his father is above him and he follows his father's authority and his father knows the day and the hour. This is definitely going to happen. People think that this is just a waste of time, you know. Some are saying, oh, mercy, why are you even preaching? Who's going to repent? Everyone who hears this word, I'm praying that you repent in the name of Jesus Christ so that you won't go to hell. Thank you very much. I love you all. Bye for now.